just disgusted. I'm disgusted by how life goes on. Life goes on hard. Hey, Mzansi. Just a quick review for those who don't understand what is ongoing. So, like, two to three weeks ago, Nato Baloyi, being devastated like each and every one of us concerning AKA's early departure from this world, decided to take upon himself and, of course, call out a few hand of people that he believes that, okay, probably they are they have a hand in AKA's departure or in one way or the other, we're fully informed or we're aware that AKA's life was about to be taken. So, of course, unfortunately, KO's name landed into the the list in one way or the other. So because of this, KO revealed the startling details in an urgent interdict he obtained against controversial artist manager Notable Loi in the Joburg High Court last week and he stated it clear that he has no hand in AKA's departure from this world. So this has caused a lot of startling controversies on social media. Make sure you watch this video right up to the end because right now Notable Loi went again, I think it was yesterday, and made some videos again and posted on his Instagram story that I really want to share with you all. And before that, you welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, please. Like this video, drop a comment, and hit onto my post notification bell. You understand what I'm saying? How does that? You have a nigga like KO sending me legal letters, whatever, going to the. Dude, why is your brother not the one sending me legal letters? Why is Sia not the one? Why uh, is it coming from you? That's the thing, you want to protect your reputation. Oh no, you're going to disturb my album rollout. My album is not going to be supported. No one's going to support your album, dog. Your brother watched AKA get shot in the head and didn't stop it. Your brother watched it. We saw him. No one ever suggested you had anything to do with that. No one ever said, but the fact that you are doing nothing about it, that you're not the one that's calling for justice. Hmm? Your family should be in mourning. In mourning, your brother failed in his duty as a road manager, dude. Imagine if Tulu failed. If Tulu failed to make sure K KO gets home safely, I'd be doing the same thing to Tulu. Don't try so hard to silence me and everything else. Had me locked up for four f days. Had me tested by all the psychologists and all the psychiatrists. And now you've got a really big problem. Now you've got a guy who's actually been tested by the psychiatrist. You, you took the mother to the loony bin, mother And he made it out the f bin. And he passed colors now you have to deal with a guy who passed with and how are you how are you going to get that mother into the loony bin now because they tested him they tried everything and they could not find anything wrong with him they just find that this guy is actually a genuine human being who's got a real honest heart a good person and all of you are trying to make him seem like he's crazy with your evil you understand I gave you guys a chance to start talking. You haven't started talking. You haven't started talking. I gave you guys a chance. You haven't started talking. And now you're allowing this to die down. I'm not going to allow this to die down. I'm going to kick up dust. I'm going to kick up dust. I am my grandfather's grandson. So, Mzansi, in the papers that K.O. sent, Kyo revealed that Baloi took to social media on February 10th after AKA's departure from this world and blamed him and his family of being behind the recording of the superstar's claiming of life, which sent a lot of shockwaves across the globe. He as well went as well to reveal that Baloi said his brother, Sian Luli, who was employed by AKA as his road manager, was there when the artist was fatally shot by unknown Hunlops who connived with him. Because of that, Baloi thought they were implicated in AKA's killing. I told you who my first five suspects are, in fact, my first six suspects. My other suspect is KO, because KO has not answered for why his brother watched AKA depart from this world. Sia said KO's brother, blood brother Luli KO, sent his brother to set AKA up. You understand? Don't let the families of KO, Sia, and everything get away with this. Reads Baloi's post, whose copies are attached to the papers. KO said the allegations against him by Baloi were highly false and without merits. I was not in any manner involved in the death of Mr. Forbes. I was not in the same province as Mr. Forbes, let alone aware of his whereabouts on the night of his claiming of life. Read the papers. Also, he said Baloi's reckless statements put his, his life and that of his family in danger and they were receiving so many threats already. I am receiving the threats as a result of the allegations from people who said that he must not set foot in Durban. 
In addition to the aforesaid, I am now receiving threats against my life as a result of the allegations leveled against me by the respondent. It's so much to deal with already, guys. Anyways, you all tell me in the comment section what you think about all of this. I love you all.